Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we celebrate in Holy Mass, Tuesday, fourth week of Lent. Let us include in our Holy Mass the following intention. For the thanksgiving of Ocampo family, Lito and Lori Sapanta, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Takdol. For the birthday thanksgiving of Ian Vicente, Yel Perez, Let Lingad. For the special intentions of Abigail, Rain, and Augusto Mamangun, Mark Homer Munoz, Herminio Linet Nukum and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Phil Janet Castro and family, Eleanor Ventura, Jeremy Robes, Arman and Mariette Nang, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sara Gokwenko, for the safe travels of James McKinney and Esther, 
for healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Katrina Siat Roque, Jose Lacson, Pepito Nikdaw Sr., Sister Melissa Arquiliano O.P., Marieta Dizon Dionson, Albert Sonko, Engineer Florita de la Cruz, Angelito Miguel, Rafael Montes, Sara Jane Pang, Roberto Yabut Jr., Jennifer Soriano, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Angelo C. Kison, Edel Umlas, Eller Vitub, Gloria Panlillo, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Ligaya Ocampo, Dr. Antonio J. Guzman, for his second death anniversary, Gregoria Aguas Midel, Estacio Candelaria, Elena Tayag Candelaria, Benamin Delara, Charles Henry Espirito, Emmanuel Yambao Quinto, Remedio Saldana Kalilong, Rita Kalilong Hurtato, Rico S. Kalilong, Christopher Glenn Binuya Kison, Henemino and Asuncion Umlas, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tamtanco, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hipolito, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. Come back to me.
With all your heart, don't let fear keep us apart. Tree stupid, though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Amo. My dear friends, we offer this Mass for our intentions and prayers. Let us recognize the needs of others too. Sometimes we become very comfortable with our way of life even when we know we can do more and we have possibilities to do better. But at times our own comfort zones allowed us to live in the minimum. Let the grace of God be upon us. And for the times that we have sinned, we ask the Lord for pardon. Together we pray. I, I confess, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Please remember your intention, your petition in this Mass. May the exercises of the holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal Mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. We ask this through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in communion with the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea. 
the salt waters which it makes fresh. Whatever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever his, this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the, God, the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst; It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he was wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Lord of God. Glory to you. Jesus Christ, glory to you, O Word of God. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Glory to, to you, O Word of God. Glory, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you. Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the gate, ship gate a pole called the Hebrews Bethsaida with the five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man there who has been ill for 38 years, and when Jesus saw him lying there, and he knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to them, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water stirred up, while I am on the way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you? Take it up and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told to the told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did, 
did this on a Sabbath. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Comfort zone. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There was a man in the Gospel who had been sick for 38 years. Matagal-tagal na rin po yun. He had been lying there for a long time. Nasabi ni Jesus, Bakit nandyan ka? 38 years ka na may sakit. He answered with a complaint, Because no one would bring me to the pool when the water stirred up. Wala kasing tumutulong sa akin pag kailangan ko ng tulong. And then he further complained, When I am on my way, someone else gets there before me. Naunahan ako, kaya hindi ako hanggang ngayon. Hindi ako nagkakaroon ng paghihilong. He was ill for 38 years. Imagine, 38 years kami sakit. He was lying there for a long time. Maybe he already was used to his own illness for a long time. He accepted that this is his fate. Parang sinabi, ganito lang talaga ako. He was complaining, but he was not doing anything about it. Ito na siguro ang kapalaran ko. Nakasanayan ko na, ganito na lang ako. He's already resigned to his situation. Sometimes they call this nesting. Parang kakapampangan, manyale. Parang dito na lang ako. May sakit ako, huwag na akong pakilaban, sanay na ako may sakit. Hanggang dito na lang ako. Actually, this is contrary to people strive and never give up in their own difficult situations. Our Christian faith encourages us to go beyond our comfort zone. Misan, meron akong narinig na speaker, sabi niya, there are three enemies of success. Meron tatlong kalaban ang tagumpay. Una, comfort zone. When people don't want to change because they are used to doing what they used to do or what they already have. Okay, na ako dito. I'm already comfortable. When you are already on your comfort zone and you don't want to go out of there, then greater success and possibility of your maximum capacity are not realized. What holds you back? Because we don't want to take change even though we know it is beneficial and positive. Kahit alam mo, pwede ka pang makapagtapos, pwede ka pang mag-aral, pwede pang lalong lumagong buhay, pero dito na lang ako. Okay na. Because your comfort zone, like the sick man who had been ill for 38 years, he was just comfortable with his own miserable life. Ikalawa, another enemy of success, yung tinatawag nilang learned helplessness. When people think and feel and believe, I cannot do it. Parang sinasabing, hindi ko kaya eh. Alam mo naman, di naman tayo ganyang karunong, kasipag, yung kakayahan natin hanggang dito lang tayo. This is called helplessness by choice. When people say, huwag ka nang masyadong magpakapagod. Di mo kaya. Kahapon, kagabi, may kakwento akong mga kabataan dito. Nag-peaceball kami doon. Peaceball, tsaka milk tea. Tapos sabi ng kabataan, binibiro ko lang sila. Okay din naman yung ano, okay din naman yung tamad, at least hindi ka pagod, sabi ko sa kanila. No? Sila sumagot, oo nga, father, sabi niya, kung kaya ng iba, paggawa mo na lang sa kanila. <laughs> Parang nagbibiroan lang kami. Pero kamisan may ganyang pag-isip, no? yung learn helplessness. Hindi natin kaya, mas magaling sila. Mas mahirap na ngayon. Mahirap nang mag maghanap ng trabaho ngayon. Mahirap nang magbukas ng negosyo ngayon. You begin with your sense of helplessness. I think that is not our Christian perspective. There is hope. You can hope even against hope. And lastly, another enemy of success is what they call the path of least resistance. When we seek the easiest way to achieve a result, but nothing is worthwhile whatever you achieve when it is only easy. 
Misan yun hanap natin yung facilitated, easy, automatic, no effort. But that does not bring out the best in us. Kahit kung misan, yung mga kasama ko nagte-therapy noon, masakit yung nagte-therapy eh. Kailangan mo stretch yung kamay mo. Kailangan mong tumayo, kailangan mong maglakad, nakakayang naglalakad kasi paralyzed ka ng konti. Pero pag sinasabi mong dito na lang ako, okay na to. Mahiga na lang ako. Ganyan na lang talaga. I think healing will not also be realized to its fullest. Jesus knew this. That's why he challenged the man who had been sick for 38 years, been ill for so many years. He kept on blaming other people. He just simply challenged him and said, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Tumayo ka dyan. You carry your mat. You go on with your life. When this sick man heeded the words of Jesus, he was healed. Maybe this Lenten season and this even coming Holy Week, we do not really sacrifice by choice. But there are realities we have to confront and face. To be a Christian, to follow Christ and carry our cross, we have to go beyond our comfort zones. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. The Lord Jesus points to witnesses that show that His claims are true. Let us pray to the Son of God who possess the power to forgive sins. And for every prayer we shall answer. Divine decision, heal us. Tayo lahat. Divine decision, hear us. Lord Jesus, may we listen to the voice of the Father who declares that you are his beloved Son, to whom we must listen. We pray. Divine physician, heal us. May we believe in the testimony of the scriptures that you have come not to abolish but to the fulfill. We pray. Divine physician, heal us. May we listen to the testimony of Moses and the prophets through whom God spoke to the patriarchs and our ancestor in faith about his promise of salvation, we pray. Divine physician, heal us. May we believe in the witness of John the Baptist, who pointed you as the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, we pray. Divine physician, heal us. May we believe in the testimony of your sign and wonders that show that you are the Messiah of Son of God, we pray. Divine physician, heal us. Let us pray for the urgent concern of our community in our personal intentions. God of mercy, free your people from sin and restore joy to our lives. May we welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your glory and salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of Eucharist. Whoever eats the bread of life will never hunger, says the Lord. For all who eat and drink of me will never die. Greater love is there than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. I give my life a sacrifice that you be loved, friends, be free. Sin and death. Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself has bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator for His way of mortal life and the effects in us, the healing that brings us immortality. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice we preach. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Remember also our humble prayer that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Torrentino, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, your daughter, Jacqueline, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in resurrection. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to call God our Father. Amen. Suma sa langit ka, sambahin na, nalan mo, mapasami na ang kaharian mo, sundi na ang loob mo. Ito sa lupa, para lang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa bawat araw. At patawarin mo ang aming sala Tulad ng aming pagpapatawad Sa nagkakasala sa amin At huwag mo kami Ipahin tulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Save from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we greet each other with a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Who bids tears away? 
way. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. He is filled with compassion. He turned to me on the day that I called. From the snares of the dark, O Lord, save my life, be my strength. How can I repay the Lord for all the goodness He Show me, I will raise the cup of salvation and call on his name. I love the Lord, I love the Lord. He is filled with. He turned to me on the day that I called from the snares of the dark. O oh Lord, save my life, be my strength. Let us pray. Please stand. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you, your family, your loved ones, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord would always want us to live our life to the fullest, to find the highest possible goodness in our life. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. In omnibus servire, in omnibus amare et servire. Domino, in everything, love and serve. The 